JR here with another killer comedy commentary. Wow, we have some very unfitting music for NASA. And of course, this looks like some old data sheets. But, alas, it's an optical illusion. What do we have here? It's not a computer at all. It's a ghost. In a player piano house. is like a computer. Its music is programmed by inserting it's a roll like of a computer. As the roll turns, the punched holes trigger the keys and strings of the piano. And then, of course, the ghost pushes it. A man some, is like a computer. Except for a little bit nerdier. He is programmed by heredity and environment. To the extent that and he is no creative, dating. he is more than a computer. He is a form of life. Except this man has no life. Maybe he is a computer. Because since no man can slower. go that quickly, and he looks makes like, mistakes. ooh, and he can stop and pause like a computer. What is this, the Death Star? This is a high-speed electronic computer. High speed? Like the piano, it too may be programmed with punch so tape got, like, or Windows, cards, uh, or by XP, more advanced devices such as magnetic tape Windows, or know, teletype Windows units talking Millennium directly edition, to the maybe? computer. Windows Vista. Like the man, it too does arithmetic. In fact, in one second, it can do far more arithmetic than the man using a desktop calculator can do in a full year. Wow. Jeez, this guy's pretty quick. In one second, the computer can perform more than one million arithmetical operations. And arithmetic is only wow. one outlet for its can many it talents. World of Warcraft. Performed with electrons moving at nearly the speed of light. Nearly, but not quite A the speed of light. A computer can do research, analysis, and business management. Can make decisions. Can play cards and chess. And even compose and play music like this. Well, I'm sure the London Philharmonic Orchestra has nothing to worry about here. Without the high-speed computers like which the manned space program helped develop in the 50s and 60s, there would be no manned space program. We could not have orbited the Earth. Well, at least we could not have landed could have. men on the moon. Let us see why. But of course, we're not going to show you actual moon footage. We're going to show you these models here. The computer and the manned space flight. <laughs> Look at that little hand there, just boing. A little spring action there. And now we will take you on a second. The environment trip. of space flight is full of unearthly complexities. Intruders in space must cope with solar and cosmic radiation, with extremes of heat and cold. Meteoroids, weightlessness, vacuum, space, silence, the final and frontier. Infinity. Before flying off into such a different environment, we require carefully designed of spacecraft made this space to carry life support of systems of air care. and pressure. We must provide and for food and water, waste disposal systems, waste disposal. protective structures, and energy systems and of for course electric with, power oh, and propulsion. He's eating the waste. Computers Ouch. play an important role in the design, manufacture, and testing of all such systems. To minimize costs and maximize now, course, safety, you have to wear glasses systems and requirements and are first like simulated by computers. In this way, for instance, hundreds of multi-million dollar manned moon landings were made before the Apollo lunar landing spacecraft was built. Of course, we made this one out of little, cardboard. Essential and, uh, engineering data were derived and safety buckets. measures were tested without risking lives. And a couple lives. sticks from the ground. In planning a spacecraft, some of the hey, most important GFK? components designed are the onboard computers. 
This is because many of the solutions and decisions we face as we travel in this new ocean of space of course, are the beyond the problem-solving capabilities um, of men uh, unaided by computers. Game. For example, <laughs> if we are orbiting <laughs> the Earth or the Moon and wish to rendezvous and dock with another spacecraft flying several miles ahead of ours, large numbers of complex flight computations must be made almost simultaneously. But with this one, we took a guess. Touchdown. To change our orbiting speed for rendezvous, computers are needed to fire the spacecraft propulsion engines. To change our attitude for docking, they must fire attitude control thrusters. Attitude docking control thrusters. Measured in tiny fractions of a They sound. change our attitude. The rendezvous and docking maneuver is just one of many spaceflight phases containing far too many variables for a man alone to compute and apply in the time available. Computers, both oh, on board boy, the spacecraft the and on the ground, thing up there. are indispensable in keeping track of the details of spaceflight dynamics and navigation, predicting relative positions, footage. and monitoring remaining fuel and other consumables, as well as firing thrusters and engines as needed. Long before a space mission is launched, the parameters of the mission must be calculated e with the help of high-speed computers. Optimum design of the mission profile and the so spacecraft where do you put the SD can be predicted card? by the Anywhere? computer no? in advance using theoretical data. Scientists and engineers Braille present their cream, problems in the form of mathematical you? models to the scientific computing specialists or computer programmers who translate the math into computer language. This coded math is punched on cards as instructions the to Commodore the computer. Vic 20 computer. Also, data related to the design problem are encoded, converted to some form the computer can read. One of these forms is the punched card. The punched card. We get a bunch of cards and we get some big guy to punch them all. The information often is transferred how many trees from the they cards had to, cut to down a magnetic that. drum or tapes, which can be read by the computer. Problem solutions by the computer can be displayed in various ways. A cathode ray and tube, play a like game a television of asteroids. tube, may display design solutions, which can then be photographed on the face of the tube. Lunar landing of a three-dimensional lunar module. 3D, the wave of the future. Rendezvous of the lunar module with the command module. Looks like footage from the movie Avatar. Earth rise over the moon. That's the Earth? Looks like the Death Star. Star fields for use in navigation. All of these computer-generated animated drawings were made before we the first fire at will, Commander. Mission. The computer has since been proved Australia. Right by history. Wow. Another area of computer-assisted engineering involves the processing computers. of data from actual tests. Amazing, that whole entire room could probably fit For instance, consider the immense amount of aerodynamic, nowadays. thermal, and metallurgical data in the re-entry of a spacecraft through the Earth's atmosphere. This was the first re-entry test of an Apollo command module. <laughs> he it said was unmanned, <laughs> but recorded by automatic <laughs> onboard cameras. Approaching the Earth on its return flight from the moon, the spacecraft reaches a velocity of 25,000 miles per hour. As it slams into the Earth's increasingly dense atmosphere, temperatures rise to several thousand degrees Fahrenheit. So we decided Due to, to the take some shape of the command module, them. most of this heat but is dissipated by waves of air molecules which form and act like a bumper, pushing other molecules of air around and away from the spacecraft. The heat shield it's must Haley's cope with 5,000 no. degrees of heat as its ablative surface uh, material crumbles, gases, and chars the heat away. Inside the cabin, temperatures remain comfortable. In well, this first flight test, bendy. telemetry it's relayed the data to a ground tracking station. The station recorded the millions of bits of data in electronic form on analog tapes. The tapes were rushed to the manned spacecraft center, and the data were transferred to digital bits on other digital. reels of magnetic tape. Makes the floppy disk look modern. These were then run through the computer. In this case, and the computer's output was by a high-speed line printer. 
High speed line printer. After analyses and application, the output data were photographed on microfilm and placed in storage for future. We found out it was just some guy's stag film. And he has some splainer to do. So voluminous are such records that another small computer is required to index them and retrieve them Boy. when they are needed. Takes up a lot of real estate, don't it? Okay. Just as spacecraft and systems sure must be designed, built, somewhere. and tested over years <laughs> of research and development with the help of computers, so the men to fly the spacecraft must be carefully prepared and tested. Their every psychophysiological characteristic must be known, analyzed, and evaluated for the responsibilities they must assume during a space mission. Of from course, this is, special medical examinations, this is what he looks like when he's thinking about each man a variety of activities, including actual space missions, a store of biomedical and behavioral data. Okay, I adore my 64, the of Commodore 64. And analysis on that man's suitability for a particular assignment. The pioneering work done in this So they area, get the nerdiest guy in the whole place to ride the exercise bicycle. usage in general <laughs> medical practice. Guy's not exactly Charles Atlas there. <laughs> Astronauts also must spend Yuri hours in simulators going through every phase of a mission. I am a cosmonaut. Every nominal and contingency condition imaginable. Training simulators okay. would be inadequate without high Can you guys hear me? No? Oh, that's okay. Which are used to simulate operational spacecraft computers long before a particular space mission is undertaken. For astronaut training programs, systems planning engineers design both the Again, hardware it takes and up the software a whole to make room. the simulators very realistic. Very realistic indeed. In the Apollo Command Module Simulator, most spacecraft Looks systems like some are World War II submarine. Digital computers perform real-time computations that put trainees Digital, into convincing eh? spaceflight situations. The sense of reality so, is heightened by simulated spacecraft MP3s. characteristics, flight dynamics, and visual and sound effects from control panel lights to jet and rocket noises. Jet and rocket noises. Of course, they're not really doing anything or going anywhere, but it's the a really Lunar cool video simulator game. Is also an all-digital simulator with three computers using coordinates based okay, on guys, math models hear me? to simulate the nope, spacecraft nope, well, and the uh, lunar landing okay. phase you know, of the mission. I gotta sit here all day and make sure you guys hear me. As in the command module trainer, simulation of the primary guidance, navigation, and control system is a most significant part of the training procedures. Of course, we don't know what half itself, buttons the buttons do, but controlling element in the system well, is an cool. onboard digital guidance, navigation, and control computer. That is one big rocket. By the time a manned space mission is launched, flight crews and ground support crews have flown the mission hundreds of times, thanks to the computerized simulator. But, of course, simulated. Pre-launch checkouts at the Cape involve many weeks of computer-assisted countdowns. So like, we don't really know if would this not is otherwise work. be possible. Ten, nine, eight, ignition sequence start. Five, four, hey, three, come on! I'm trying to sleep here. One, zero. Launch commit. Lift off. We have lift off. As the spaceship clears hey, wait, the tower, the mission control toilet. center in Houston takes over command of the flight. <laughs> Is that Clint Howard? The flight director's most valuable resource is the real-time computer complex, one of the, the largest computer assemblages in the world. Here is some of the computing equipment that calculates flight paths and solves other problems of the space mission on a real-time basis. It's the earliest of the iMac. When necessary to keep the guidance system up to date, the solutions are transmitted to the spacecraft and fed into the onboard computer. Computer-driven data displays it's the movie the War Games. Quickly changing Shall we play and velocity a and game? Other conditions derived from tracking the spacecraft and communicating with the crew. Roger, Roger. The actual Houston, landing on the moon depends problem. on computerized readings of remaining fuel and altitude. 
three feet per second, 40 feet, three feet per second, 30, three feet per second, looking great. Abort! Feet. Abort! Abort vision! Yeah. Abort! We are on the surface. While on the moon, astronauts perform active seismic experiments and emplace scientific but instruments. We're going to give him this golf club so he can hit the ball as far as he can. Detectors. The luminous data are transmitted to Earth from these instruments, which make up the various and these are just actual of the big toilet paper network. rolls. The data are interpreted with the help of computers. I think this needle's stuck. After a mission returns safely from the moon, computers are also oh, indispensable. There's a leak. Inside the lunar receiving <laughs> laboratory, moon rocks Where's and soil wants brought to go back swimming by the there. lunar explorers are studied and subjected to preliminary so analyses with the help of computer-controlled instrument systems. Yes, I'm Esther Williams. Remote terminals are set up to permit the antiseptic removal of data from the laboratory and to enable the investigators to use outside computers in their work. Computers are used to identify and classify moon matter and to reduce the data detected by such lunar lab instruments as radiation counters, radiation counters, mass spectrometers, and electron microscopes. Hey, it's Elvis. Information processing at MSC is not all related to the moon and outer space. Systems also are devised for the most efficient business management of the center. Whether it be a computerized system to record, remember, and report on books checked out at the technical library, or the computerized magnetic tape library of more than 40,000 tapes. Other computerized operations at this remarkable one-of-a-kind city of space control and prepare paychecks. Paychecks. Oh, boy, sorry. Even you gave me the wrong one. Apparently, you only get minimum wage. Of the space program's most valuable asset, its people. Hey, is that a fish tank? Another program using computers at MSC is that of Earth Resources. This program uses aircraft to test and develop Air cameras and other sensors in studies of the Earth. Photo enhancement and pattern recognition of data gathered from such flights are two computerized techniques. Of course, this is just some old lady's quilt. The computer draws and color codes various crops growing in a large mapped area of the Earth's surface. Hey, Corn, there's marijuana crops there. Shown. Yes, there's a whole field of it. Are used to reveal areas of plant All this disease, green area here. Forest fires, underground rivers, and other surface phenomena. And this black stuff is hashish. Earth resource studies by aircraft and computers are valuable today in their own right and are also contributing to the development of scientific tools for vast studies of the Earth, the Moon, and the planets by manned spacecraft of the future. Skylab. Skylab. Space shuttle. That's a space shuttle? Space stations. A space station. And eventually, spaceships to carry men to Mars. Yeah, don't hold your breath. The computers. But of course, for now, we're just going to play truly, Frogger. Our keys to the future. Mozart would be rolling in his grave here. Do, 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 do. Freedom of Information Act. Houston, we have a problem. Bye for now.